how are you? I hope you are well. I am MD Sarwar Hussain. Today I am going to discuss about the subject Math Practice Book 4 or Class 3. Let us go to our book Math Practice Book 4 for Class 3. Everybody open your book page. Phase 13 for the second term syllabus. Here, some division problems. Now we solve that problems. In a division problem, in a division uh, problem, we can. show the parts of a division that is divisor divisor then dividend quotient remainder on the other hand divisor here and dividend quotient and remainder the number by which the dividend is to be divided is called divisor. I repeat again the number by which the dividend is to be divided is called divisor. And the number which is to be divided is called dividend. The result is called quotient. Result or uh, and left over finally left over is called remainder now we solve the problem number one row one here dividend here dividend is 7646 and divisor is 67 at first Calculate from the left side. Count the digit from divisor. How many digit digit in divisor? There are two digits. Number one and number two. Two digit. So we take the two digit from dividend. That is six, seven, and six. How many times of sixty-seven is 76 it is estimating we can estimate the problem at first we sub we can omit the one once plus digit from both side that is uh, 67 here once plus uh, once plus is 7 and 76 here once plus is 6 so we can omit 7 and 6 from both place now how many times of 6 is to be 7 it may be one time because 6 1 is 6 and 6 2 is 12 so 6 that is 8 may be 1 time 1 will be here that is quotient plus and then multiply 76 by 1 that is 67 now subtract 67 from 76 it may be 6 that is 16 16 minus 7 equal to 9 then carry 1 6 plus 1 7 7 minus 7 equal to 0 left 0 is not necessary now 
6 is brought down after 9 then joining the remainder it will be 94 how many times of 67 becomes 94 then again we omit the ones plus digit that is 7 and 4 it will be omitted then we my we can calculate 6 and 9 how many times of 6 is 9 is to be 9 then it will be one time we can write 67 multiply by 1 that is 67 we can subtract now we can subtract 9 67 from 94 4 minus 7 that is 14 minus 7 equal to 7 and carry 1 6 plus 1 equal to 6 plus 1 equal to 7 then 9 minus 7 equals to 2 now we can put down the last digit 6 how many times of 67 is going to 276 it will be 6 uh, 6 may be 3 times that is 6 and 27 is calculated 7 and 6 is omitted because it is in ones place so 6 3 is are 6 3 is are 20 6 3 is are 18 and 6 4 is are 24 that is 6 4 is are 24 4 times may be calculated that is 4 multiply 6, 8, 67 now 4 multiply 7 equal to 4 7 is are 28 carry 2 and 6 4 is are 24 plus 2 equal to 26 now subtract 268 from 276 it will be 8 so we get our result that is quotient plus in quotient plus there is 114 quotient plus is 114 and remainder plus is there are 8 so answer is complete we can calculate the number easily again we can solve the problem 2 row 2 row 2 that is 62 division is 62 is divisor and 9 to 9 to 4 to 1 is 9 2 4 2 1 is dividend how can we calculate this problem at first we estimate the digit how many digits are here in divisor there are two digits 6 and 2 and 9 so we can take from dividend in two digit that is 92 we can omit the ones plus in both side that is 2 is omitted and 2 is omitted then how many 6 is going to 9 it may be one time so estimate our estimate is one time that is 62 ones are 62 then we subtract from we subtract 62 from 92 2 minus 2 equal to 0 and 3 minus 6 equals to 3 now brought down 4 from the dividend from the dividend then it will be 304 how many times of 62 makes 304 then it may be it may be 5 times because 2 and 4 is omitted 6 and 30 6 times 
fives are thirty. So it may be five times, but five twos are ten. That is greater than four. So five times is not possible. It may be four times. So we can write here four. That is four twos are eight. Now we can mul multiply sixty two by four. Four twos are eight, and there is no carry. Four six are twenty four. Now subtract two hundred forty eight from three hundred four. That is four minus eight equal to six. That is fourteen minus eight equal to six. Carry one four plus one five five ten minus five equal to five. Then carry one two plus one three three minus three is zero. Left side zero is not necessary. Then brought down two. From dividend, how many times of sixty-two makes five hundred sixty-two? We can estimate it easily. We can omit the number two and two from both side. We got the number six and fifty-six. How many six? It makes fifty-six. Then it may be nine times. So it may be nine times. Nine four zero. Fifty-four because nine fours are fifty-four. Nine twos are now multiply sixty-two by nine. Nine twos are eighteen. Then carry one. Nine fours are fifty-four plus one equal to fifty-five. We can subtract five hundred fifty-eight from five hundred sixty-two. Then result becomes eight twelve minus four equal to four. Carry one five plus one equal to six. Six minus six equals to six minus six equal to zero. Left zero is not necessary. Now we brought down the number last digit one. Here is one. How many times of sixty-two makes forty-one? Forty-one is smaller than sixty-two, so it is not possible. It may be, it may be zero, so it may be zero because zero multiplied by something equal to zero. We can take take here zero and multiply sixty-two by zero. It will be zero. Then we can subtract zero zero. From forty-one, that is ma that makes forty-one. Uh, Our division problem is complete, so we can write the quotient. Here quotient is here quotient is one thousand four hundred ninety. One thousand quotient equal to we can write quotient equal to one thousand four hundred ninety. And remainder equals to forty-one. Our class is finished today. Next time, see you again tomorrow.